<laughs> in front of everyone in the checkout lane. <laughs> everyone was just standing there. <laughs> and then you were like, <laughs> no, that's so not what it sounded like. Yeah, yes, it was. Yeah. That's so not true. <laughs> it was true. You literally sounded like you pooped yourself. <laughs> you were like, <laughs> 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 Izzy? Yeah? Do you ever feel like you're nothing? What do you mean? Like all of our lives are influenced by our surroundings. And our parents are basically responsible for the, why we look the way that we do. And our friends influence our personalities. In the society that we live in, whether it's diverse or not, influences our hardships and struggles that we face. I don't know. Like, if every aspect of who we are is unconsciously decided by who we are surrounded by, then who am I? What is the part of me that is truly, entirely, only me? What is the part that isn't touched by anything or isn't influenced or persuaded? If all of who I am is affected, then I am nothing. you shirt. Thanks. And brought you the dress that I wore to church that my mom was so upset about. <laughs> Probably because it's a shirt. <laughs> oh. Oops. Who are you texting? James. Oh. Oh. I'm sorry. Oh, something happened. Uh... He said his car broke down, and, oh shoot, he needs me to pick him up. Oh, okay. Yeah, I have to go. No, it's, it's okay. I'll catch up with you later, okay? Okay. Oh, hey, are you still on for tomorrow night with Sean and James? Uh, yeah, yeah. Okay, awesome. I'll see you later. Bye, bye.
then you can have the guest room. Why are you being like this? Like what? All oh, moody. Sorry, I don't know what you're talking about. I was watching you all night and during the day and you can't even enjoy yourself for one second. I tried, okay? I tried. Unbelievable. What now? I tried. Are you serious? You just sat there, not engaging in conversation, not even trying to get to know Sean better, not even trying to for at least one second see what it would feel like to not be sorry for yourself all the time. Excuse me? You know exactly what I mean. Every day I go to school and I think, what is Izzy gonna be like today? Is she gonna be the person that appreciates other people? Or is she gonna be the person that can't even stand to be around other people? All you do is just feel sorry for yourself. Well, at least I don't pretend to be something that I'm not. I'm sorry that I don't have your happy-go-lucky attitude, and I'm sorry that I don't have your hobbies that make you edgy, and I'm sorry that I don't have your perfect life with your perfect boyfriend. Is that what this is about? It's about me and James? <laughs> I should have known. Every time that we're together, you can't even mutter a word. And every time I bring up his name, your face turns bright red. Stop. I, I thought that you would be happy for me. We've been friends for 17 years. I mean, we always talk about that one person. Stop. And God knows if James is my person, but if you can at least just be there for me and support me in my relationship. Is that so much to ask? You are Stop. so different, you know? Now all you want to be is alone. You don't want to even be around me, do you? Oh, I'm sorry that you're jealous of James and I, but honestly... Stop! I'm not nothing, okay? The other day in the car, you asked me if I ever felt like I was nothing. I'm not nothing. The thing that makes us who we are is uncontrollable. Yes, we are affected by our surroundings, but we subconsciously choose which aspects we want to apply to our own lives. We subconsciously are attracted to different things, and that attraction leads us to who we want to hang out with and who we want to spend our times with. And those inevitable choices those make us who we are. Whatever. I'm in love with you, Parker.